Hi, I was playing around with Type Flow Beta and I want to show you the simple example. Intentionally, when I started with Type Flow for the first time, I didn't read any documentation or tutorials. Relying on my previous knowledge in particle flow and thinking particles, just to see how intuitive the UI and the workflow, and I find it really easy, and you can jump right away and work with it. In this example, I want to show you how to create the dynamic particles and collisions. Okay, to start, you need to create a type flow icon by clicking on this button and dragging in the viewport, and then go to modifier panel, and then open the editor, and this window will open for you, which is very similar to particle flow. To start, I need to generate the particles. So I need a birth node, and I need a position icon node. In TyFlow, you can create a new node from here. The icon will be created, and the particles will be generated from it. So if I hit play, you see the particles are generated here. To give it a direction, you need to go to speed node and add it to the flow. A default random speed will apply to the particles, like you see. So you need to change the direction from 3D to along the icon arrow. Plus, you need to add the icon in this list. So I need just to add, add selected. And you see the particles now are going along the icon arrow. Next, I need to add a shape to the particles. So I just need to drag a shape node to the flow and select 3D and select a sphere here. You won't see the sphere shape in the viewport unless you go to a display and display as geometry. I'll reduce the number of the particles here to 25. And I'll change the shape of the icon to be more like a rectangle. I'll rename this node to spheres. Next, I want to create the wall. So I'll go to the box and create a simple box here and name it wall. To add the wall to the particle system, I need a birth shape node and then click add selected and the wall will be added here. I'll rename this node to wall and hide the wall geometry. This particle here will represent the wall. To display it properly in the viewport, I just need to go to display and select geometry. Next, I need to make the, all the particles dynamic. To do that, I need to go to Physic Shape node and add it to the flow. And as soon as I do that, I see that the spheres now are interacting with the wall. There are some spheres going through the wall, which we will fix later. But now the whole system is dynamic. And there is a gravity, default gravity by type flow, and default ground. I'll increase the size of the spheres by adding a scale node to the spheres here and multiply it by 3. And now it's more visible. Next, I will fractal the wall. To do that, there is a Veronoi fractal node that I need to add to the flow here, which is very cool. And immediately you see that the wall is shattered. And if I hit play, I see that the pieces are 
dynamic and interactive. To increase the number of the pieces, I add 25 here, the number of the points, or maybe 50. To make the spheres heavier to be able to affect the wall, I need to increase the mass of the spheres. And to do that, I need to go to the spheres physics shape and go to dynamic. And in the value here of the mass, I need to make it something around 1,500. I want to play. See now the wall is a little bit moving by the spheres. I need to make it 2,000. Yeah. And make the source a little bit wider. Yeah. Now I want to make the pieces of the wall attached to each other to be one piece before it breaks. To do that, I will add the physics bind node here. In the physics bind, we'll attach the pieces together. So now the spheres are no longer able to move the pieces, to break the pieces. In the bind breaking options here, if I check the force, and play, you see that some of the pieces are breaking. That's because the force of the particle within this value that will break the wall. So if I reduce this amount to 5,000 and I hit play, I see that the wall is more breakable. I'll add more pieces to the Veronoi, maybe 100. Yep. That's cool. To fix the issue of the spheres going through the wall, we need to add more samples to the simulation. And to do that, I just need to select the tie flow icon. I go to the main settings and in the time step option I choose half frame. Let's see if I reduce the physics point force what will happen. That's really cool. You can later add more pieces to, to the Veronoi, if you are 200, and play. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.